at least I still have my special band. I have that at least. Can I just straight up leave? See, if I do that, I would have to do all this again. Let's just keep going. Stick to Thundershock like I was doing. Do you mind if I backseat a game a little bit? Um, de depends on how much you decide to. It depends on how much you decide to actually talk about. Because. I kind of don't want to be told how to play. I like I've played Mystery Dungeon before. Mainly want to give advice. I mean, I'm you're free to tell me advice. I can't guarantee I'll use it though, but feel free to feel free to say it. This is special band isn't useful. At, no, special band typically isn't. But Riolu, or Steven in particular, has been using a lot of Force Palms. Like, a lot of Force Palms. That's why I gave it to him. Ooh. I'll take that elixir. Orb. Warp. Blowback? Oh, is that what I think it is? Taking damage if it hits a wall or another Pokemon. Okay. Brown. Ground gummy, ground type, which I don't have any ground, which neither of us is ground type. Whoa. Wide slash. Hi, Magmar. Oh, hi, Magmar. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Why? Alright, what's this band? Stamina band. Okay. 
<sighs> Let's do one more four. I'm I'm gonna propose something. I'm just gonna propose I'm just gonna propose something right now. If I lose against Groudon on this on this particular run, I will switch over to Heart of Gold Randomized. And then what I'll do is that between now and the next time I go to attempt Groudon again, I'm gonna gr I'm gonna do grinding that's not gonna go up on YouTube. Because this is starting to get ridiculous in my mind. I was thinking about that the last couple of minutes. Hope you don't lose. I hope I don't lose either. <laughs> To be perfectly honest with you, I I want to move forward with this game. I really do. But like I said, this is just starting to get ridiculous. Oh. Oh yeah. Excuse me. All right. There's the stairs. Now, okay, we're at full HP. Let me sort this out. The only I have one orange berry, so I can heal Steven up once. I do have a totter roar. I also have petrify I also have a petrify orb. Until oh on okay. Unless an attack or move is used on it. Okay, so petrify isn't gonna work. Um I could also use blowback orb. Hello, Anthem of the World. How are you, my dude? You just came by to watch me get my ass handed to me by Groudon. How how fun? How much fun is that? <sighs> All right. I need you guys to send me, send me your power. That's what I need you guys to do. Jeez. <laughs> I know a thunder wave won't work. <laughs> also, don't use yours and never work on bosses. Oh, okay, that okay, that I didn't know, but I know thunder wave won't because you know it's a it's an electric type going to to going to a ground type. Obviously, that's not going to work. I didn't realize the orbs didn't. That's good to know. Steven's at 39. Where's the other one, Barry? Oh boy, Ancient Power. Fun. Oh no. If Riolo were used in Dory, he survived for several turns. Yeah, I've all, I, I've seen that already happen a couple of times.
<gasps> Paralyzed. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, Steven. I just hope he doesn't use Mud Shot here. Okay, that works. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I spent, I've been streaming for an hour and a half and only now got it. <sighs> hey Guy Gardevoir, welcome to the stream. You just wit you just witnessed a grown man. <laughs> <laughs> Down to this. I spent the last hour and a half on this fight. <sighs> and even then, I've had one other attempt before that before starting this stream. <sighs> okay. Groudon, goodbye. <sighs> we did it. We defeated Groudon. But is it really... Bye-bye. <sighs> huh? Groudon disappeared? That was... That was not Groudon. That Groudon was nothing more than an illusion that I conjured. Who said that? Like I said earlier, I am the guardian here, and I cannot allow you to pass. Wait, please. We're not here to cause trouble. We only came for information. Information, you say? Yes, that's the honest truth. Well, we admit that we're an exploration team, and we like to leave with treasure after all our effort. But we'll leave and but we'll leave without any. If you have a problem with that, we'll be happy to say that we just made it this far. Please, please believe us. Hmm. Well, okay, I believe you. Hi, Xe. Let me welcome you then. I am Uxie, the guardian of Fogbound Lake. What? Did you say Uxie? Yes, truly. I stand guard over something special that lies in Fogbound Lake. I am guardian of the sand. <laughs> <laughs> now let me escort you to Fogbound Lake. Please come this way. I'm still flabbergasted that I'd be ground on. Would you like to save? Damn right I would like to save. <sighs> you know damn well I want to save. <sighs> Jeez. Wow, it's become dark outside. That is because... Oh. Uh, <laughs> that is because you are in still inside the cave. It may be a little difficult to see at night, but... But... Behold, Fogbound Lake. Wow. <laughs> Just, wow. Oh, wow, that actually does look great. Oh. <sighs> That's incredible. Who'd expect to see such a big lake on a plateau so high up? And those floating Volby and Illumis. Yeah, this is what I gotta say to Volby and Illumis. Just saying. So beautiful. Water constantly wells up from far below this place. It flows up so, hev so heavily that it has long formed this enormous lake. Now cast your eyes. Guy Gardevoir, thanks so much for the follow, my dude. Now cast your eyes to the glowing area at the lake's center. Yes, I see it. 
It's radiating from below. That blue-green radiance, right? Step forward for a closer look. Hey! What could that be? I can't figure it out, but it's making my heart race. Why would it stir me up so much? Why is my pulse speeding all of a sudden? That's fantastic, but what is that? It has such a mystical quality. That is a time gear. A what? <laughs> That's a time gear? <laughs> Oxy just said that it's a time gear. Yes. I guard the time gear. It is the sole reason I'm here, the sole reason for my existence, the sole reason why Groudon protects here, the sole reason why you now must die. Others before you have tried to trespass here, but I have used my Groudon illusion to chase most of them off. And you have failed seven times. <laughs> Groudon, how'd you do that? That is something I create using my psychic abilities. I am also a mythical Pokemon, so I have abilities that are far, pre far, far beyond your comprehension. Like so. Ah! There is no need to be startled. As I said, it's just an illusion. You simpleton. What you thought was no more than that. <laughs> There have been others before who defeated my Groudon illusion. They managed to make their way to this spot, but they were trespassers. So I took away their memories, and thus protected the lake. And now I must remove yours too. Took away their memories? Oh, that's right. We hope to ask you something, Uxie. Oh, great. Okay, here we go. Meet my partner! At present, a Pokemon, at one time, a human! Woo! Oh, really? A human? Yes, but Chris has lost all memory of being a human. So we're wondering, have you maybe met Chris here before, Uxie? And did you take away Chris's memory? Has that ever happened? Did a human ever come here? Do you remember anything like that ever happening? Even though I've asked this like two, three times already, do you ever know it? Do you know anything? Because I'm, I'm an idiot. The answer is no. No human has ever come here. I should explain further. I erase only memories of Fogbound Lake. I cannot fully erase all memories from living beings. I had nothing to do with your friend's memory loss, nor anything to do with your friend's transformation into a Pokemon. The cause lies elsewhere. Oh, well, that's okay. So it doesn't seem like you're, you've been here after all. Look, see, we hope to meet you. We hoped to meet you to learn more about my partner. Huh? What's that? Okay, uh, I don't know exactly who says this. Time gear, time gear, too bad. Oh! We can't take, we can't take a time gear. <laughs> Wigglytuff! Wow, fantastic! And who might this be? That's our guildmaster! <laughs> Glad to meet you, friend! Friend, 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 friend! <laughs> I remember. Oh man, I love doing Lee Tom's voice. Glad to meet you, friend. Friend, amazing friend. <laughs> Gaze upon this amazing view. I'm delighted we came. La la dee da dee. Vaguely Tom. Oh man. It's like it's so hard to take Lee Tom seriously. It really is. I don't. I don't think I gave name uh, voices to these guys. Phew! You hear it, us? Oh God, no! Definitely not that. <laughs> no time catcher breath. We gotta hurry. Even though you know we're far beyond here. I <laughs> just pops up. I. I chat dot. This ground on spit it out. <laughs> Spin it out. Ding ding ding. I'm not tasty. Neither are. Hello to one and all. So let's run. The guildmaster. Oh, never mind that. Everyone, look over there. 
It's spouting. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> pretty, pretty. <laughs> oh, good God. Look at all the Volbeat and Illumise. Oh my, so shimmer, so shimmering. <laughs> yup, yup, some kind of pretty. Yes, the lake gazer erupts every now and then. It sends up water, just like a fountain. <clears throat> and apparently Oxy's done some drinking too. And the time gear, <laughs> and the time gear sends up illu illumination from below. While many Illumise and Volby glow upon the fountain of water, in harmony, they are the very vision of beauty. Mm, I don't know about that. The treasure! The treasure! Must be the view of Five Man Lake! I kinda messed up his voice there a little bit at the end there. Da -da 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 -da. Are you taking in this view, Chris? This is so magical, it's really too bad that we didn't learn anything about your past, but I'm glad we came. I'm happy that, we, that I got to see such a beautiful scene with everyone. I'm truly happy. I'm glad I came too. Sure, it's true we never learned who I am. Hang on a minute, Oxy said he didn't know me. But if that's true, how did I know about this place? Hey, and the time gear. <laughs> When I see that time gear, why does my pulse race when I see it? This, and this unease I feel, what does it mean? What does everything mean? Life. Existence. The universe. So sorry to have disturbed you. Had, had a fantastic time, friend, friend, friend. I shall not take away your memories of this place. You have earned my trust. But I must ask that you keep this place a secret. Surely, thank you. We all know what we need to do. You know, another time gear has been stolen. This one must stay safe. We won't ever say a word about this place. I swear, in the name of where we toast guild. Oh my god, that, that hurts my throat. <laughs> Please hold true to that promise. Okay, let's be on our way. There we go. Jata, if you will. I'll opt to a doubt, master. Everyone, we're going back to the guild. Hooray. Whoa. Hmm. Fun. And so, the guild's long and challenging expedition finally came to an end. Wigglytuff and the members safely returned to the guild. For Chris and the apprentices, going to the guild meant taking up the standard training schedule. It was life as usual back at the guild. And now we have this whole section of the map unlocked. That's pretty cool. Hey, left it for five battle lake and all surrounding areas. Exploration Team Federation sent a message. Treasure bag is no bigger. Cool. <laughs> you can now carry more items. Wait, one more message. What's that? Special episode Igly Buff the Prodigy. Cool. Something else for a bonus episode. Would you like to save? Yes, please. I love the save. Chapter 10 Dusk Noir. The next morning. A banana is boring. I'm gonna stop doing that voice for. <laughs> for X Cloud. It's been a while since we last woken up like that. Yes, it has been.